Aquaculture is a growing field that is already playing a key role in world food supplies. Hundreds of millions of people around the world rely on fisheries and aquaculture for food and over 10% of the world's population relies on them for a living. The COVID-19 pandemic has a significant impact on all sectors of the fish supply chain, putting employment, wages and food security at risk. To resolve the immediate economic and social woes that the crisis is causing in the fish market, some solutions or responses are needed in order to maintain long-term ambitions for protecting natural resources and ecosystems and the viability of fisheries. The aquaculture farmers are affected by the pandemic and their total sale is reduced because of the restriction and barrier imposed in local physical storage. No crop funding opportunity for them to take advantage of to support the business and preserve the livestock of fishes. Productions, product demands, bureaucracy related problems, transportations, and the temporary closure of fish mills were affected by the COVID 19. Due to foreign and domestic travel and transportation bans and lockdowns, the pandemic appears to be affecting the supply chain decreasing importations and delivery of fish or feed, as well as supplies and distribution of aquaculture goods. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning viewers. You are still with me, Ali Shuzana, and I will accompany you to listen to some right news, some actual news and some latest news in this Sunday morning. Breaking news. The aquaculture farmers are affected by the pandemic of COVID-19 and their total sales are reduced because of the restriction and barriers imposed in the local physical stores. This is because of the closure of restaurants and cancellation of both public and private events have resulted in a collapse in demand for certain fish products, in particular of high-end products. Moreover, Social distancing and confinement measures have to lie in the closure of many fish markets globally. What makes everything is getting worse is that the border closures and significant declines in the availability of fish products and also increase in the cost of global makes the purchases of fish product is reduced day by day. In addition, Loss of demand and difficulties in reaching consumers have in turn to lead to reduce and more volatile prices of fish products. Malaysia e-commerce shows a positive growth rate over the past few years and projected to keep on increasing. Aquaculture farmers can use COVID-19 period to venture in e-commerce. It is because most of them are facing loss in revenue due to the restriction and barrier imposed on physical store during COVID-19. Create an online shopping website specifically for seafood product. By creating this website, customers can search and buy the product online. For example, Bloon Fresh Fish from Vienna is an aquaponic company located in Vienna, which combines vegetable and fish farming in a large glass structure to produce aubergine, tomatoes, cucumbers, pepper as well as catfish. This company production has increased significantly from 50 tons of fish in the beginning and increased to 25 tons of fish in 2019. In 2021, they are targeting to accumulate 70 to 75 tons of production. Aquaculture farmers need to set Bloon as their example. By creating an online website, they can capture more target markets among the customer. The satisfied customers also will purchase regularly from the website due to the quality and freshness of the fish. Create a new courier service that focuses on the delivery of aquaculture products. This courier will use an icebox or portable fridge to keep the item fresh upon delivery. By having their own courier service, aquaculture farmer will be able to send their product in front of their customer's house. 
This will attract more customer because of faster time taken to deliver the product and the customer didn't have to go to the market which is crowded especially during peak hour. Aquaculture farmers also will gain more profit. It is because there are no middlemen in this transaction. This courier service also will create a new job opportunity for people especially in this COVID-19 pandemic. The other way seller in aquaculture industry to help their production is by use food preservation technology in order to extend the product lifespan. The food will be sold on an online shopping website. The methods for food preservation are caning, smoking, vacuuming, freezing, and salting. Oxidation occurs when the chemicals in your food are exposed to oxygen and begin to change in terms of composition. This chemical change affects the taste and color of food and renders it inedible. Through the use of preservatives, both this process can be delayed or averted altogether. Refrigerators and low temperatures slow the activities of bacteria. It also reduces waste at the landfill. The glass jars used in home cleaning can be used repeatedly if they show no signs of damage, such as cracks or jagged edges. Thus, use food preservation technology can increase the availability of out-of-season foodstuff and also increase the availability of various foodstuff even at distant and not easily approachable places. In other words, it makes the transportation of food materials easier. Other than that, by using food preservation technology, it can reduce environmental footprint. The impacts of home food preservation trickle all the way down the industrial food chain, resulting in fewer fertilizers and pesticides being applied to cropland, the decline in fossil fuel for transportation, and less energy required for large commercial storage facilities, just to mention a few. By creating an online shopping website, more online users will be able to access the resource of the proposed aquaculture chain method for them to consume. By creating an online website, they can capture more target markets among the customers. The satisfied customer also will purchase regularly from the website due to the quality and freshness of the fish. Hence, with the number of new users coming in, you also need to create a new courier service that only focuses on the delivery of aquaculture products. No middlemen needed and aquaculture farmers will be able to send their products in front of their customers' houses. This potential courier service will also make a new job opportunity for people during this pandemic era. Then, food preservation is a vital element in executing this initiative. Through the preservation method, exposure to oxygen that changes the composition and the chemical effect of taste and color of food and renders it inedible will be delayed and avoid altogether. Thus, it will increase the availability of various foodstuff even at distant and not easily approachable places. Hence, there are a lot of benefits to apply the method. In conclusion, these are the steps to implement the system. However, there are also issues that could happen if we implement this technology. First, the purpose of the system is to reduce the physical contact between people. However, it still might happen due to the contact of the deliverer and the customer. Another issue is on the payment method. Due to the advancements of the technology in our system, some elderly people and people with lack of knowledge could not adapt to current finance technologies such as online banking and e-wallet.